So loop components is a big frustration for me. So loop, when Microsoft announced it, I think if I'm right from without looking, two years ago now, it had it showed loop pages, but then happened to have some components that you could update wherever you're working. So the page kept everything together, and then the components like could go into Teams or could go into Outlook or could go anywhere, any across any Microsoft product that would stay in sync and be live wherever you looked at them. That's quite a cool concept. How it's been implemented to date is that Microsoft are focusing on these loop components, the bits that get updated anywhere. So you don't have one place to go back and see all of those components at the moment because loop pages isn't out. And so the only places you can do loop components at the moment is Teams chat, not in Teams channels, just in chat. And if you follow anything of my advice, it's like, don't do your main work in chat. <laughs> That's the worst place you can put it because you're going to lose stuff. It needs to be in a team structure, in a channel, and anything to do that subject to work should go in that channel. But if you're using loop components, one, you can't put it in a channel because that doesn't exist yet. And then now Microsoft are next releasing loop components going into Outlook, which is like you we're trying to make people change away from using email and get them into using Teams properly because you can make a meaningful difference in people's lives by saving them a huge amount of time. If you want to know more about that, check out our free training to go through my approach and hopefully convince you that that's the right thing to do. This goes against that. So we're now splitting people back into Outlook to just go and update a loop component. Unless you save that email somewhere, you're then going to lose that that loop component because at the moment it lives in someone's OneDrive and without that link or without that view you can't go back and see that if someone shared it with you. If you're the one that shared it you can go into your OneDrive and click the link and it will open what is presumably going to be the loop page which isn't out yet but you can't add anything else to that page it just shows you that one component. So very confusing for end users and I don't know anyone that's using loop components right now. So if we scroll down, you can add a component from bulleted list, but you can put a bulleted list in text. So it's just one that you want to collaborate on a bulleted list. You can do a checklist, but again, you can, it's one that is shared, so you can do a checklist. So you can do bulleted list, checklist, number list, a paragraph. Anyway, you're just going to type it out. So it's just bizarre that it's just, unfathomable to me that Microsoft are focused on this component bit. I get that that's the most te technically difficult bit to do, but it's completely unuseful to normal people doing a normal job. And it's really difficult to explain why you would use this, because even I don't know why you would use Loop components right now. When Loop comes out as a full product, that is going to be game changing, which is why I'm really excited and why I'm really frustrated that Microsoft seem to be messing it up as they introduce this to people and they're taking a really long time to do it. So I think in my humble opinion, Microsoft would have been better off just copying Notion, borrowing concepts from Notion, producing loop pages, which would be useful on its own and the loop app, and then work to like try and say, well, how's it gonna get shared around different apps? That's like a nice little add-on that only Microsoft could do. Whereas if you wanted to do anything right now that Notion can do, Loop can't do any of that. You need to go into Notion. And also it's them all, a shared OneNote in a team is co-authorable. A shared Word document is co-authorable. So your bulleted list, the checklist, the number list, the paragraph, a table even, Q&As. It's just, no one's gonna use that. So yeah, you'd have to open up that document. So say it was a Word document, you could share a link on email. So if this is out, Loop Components in Outlook, you could share the link to that Word document, someone would open it, and then everything's co-authorable in there. So Loop Components isn't fixing that, it's just making it visible right on the front of it. And same with OneNote, if you're making notes and you want a bulleted list, anyone can sort of co-author that list anyway. So just have that component in either a Teams chat, which you're gonna lose because it's gonna go off the top of the screen, or in Outlook, which you're gonna lose because there's gonna be loads of emails there, to try and get back to the thing that you're working on that you wanna collaborate on. It seems bizarre to like split, you know, in, in, it's now into stuff that is going to get lost. It's, you can't put it in a team's channel, which in my opinion is the place that you should be doing work collaboration. And loop components is by definition to collaborate on something together. And then final bit of my rant, 
is then they've got a loop component task list. So we're only just getting people into using planner effectively. And then we've got another task list that's then in a loop component. Is that, well, is the task list in loop components going through to planner? No. Is that, well, where does it live? What's, I've now, it's just a different way of losing tasks. So in the old days, people used to, I say in the old days, previously people used to put tasks and minutes of, of meetings in an email or tasks in an Excel spreadsheet and email it around. And the downside of that is, well, yeah, they're recorded at least, but you're relying on everyone to go back into that spreadsheet on the email to go and find out what their action is. So usually you rock up to the next being, no one's done the actions, and you're just running down a spreadsheet of no one doing any actions because they haven't, you haven't followed them up and they're lost. Planner fixes all that because one, it's shared, it's visible to everybody. It, people get chased up on their actions automatically and you don't need to do any of that. So and you can see when it's done. A task list in a loop component isn't fixing any of that. It's going back to the bad things that we used to do before. It's just living an email that loop component and you need to go and find that email to go and do it. You, you can assign people but they don't get notified. It's just a mess. So ran over on, on loop.